What's up, Achievers? Welcome to today's build class. I'm Lauren. I'm excited to be here. Today, we're going to need two dumbbells. So these should be moderate-sized dumbbells. Throughout the workout, we're going to sometimes use them both at the same time and sometimes just choose one. All right. But let's get started with the warm-up. We're going to come on down to the floor. I want you to go onto your hands and knees, and we're going to bring your right leg out to the side. So right leg out, point those toes forward. And we're going to start with some rocking here. So you're going to rock your hips back and rock back forward. And just do a couple nice... Easy rocks here, you should feel a good stretch in that inner thigh. And we're trying to keep our spine nice and long as well, so we're not rounding over or tucking our hips under as we rock. And let's get a couple more here. And then we're gonna stay back on our heel, actually just slightly off the heel in this split stance position. Take that right hand now and reach it through your, the space between your hand and your knee, and then rotate that hand around up toward the ceiling. All right, so we're rounding as we reach and extending as we rotate. Moving through that upper back, just getting some nice movement prep before we get going in today's workout. Awesome, let's go ahead and switch sides. So then bring that left leg out to the side and do the same thing. We're gonna start with that rocking. So rock back toward your heel and rock forward. Awesome, keeping your spine nice and long, not tucking those hips and feeling that good stretch. Let's get one more. And then we're gonna come just slightly forward and reach that left hand through the space and rotate around and up to the ceiling. Oh, it feels really nice just to get some movement in in ways that maybe we don't throughout the day. Moving that spine, especially that upper back, feels really nice. Let's get one more. Awesome. All right. Next, we're going to go into a 90-90 hip switch. So for this one, you're going to start with your legs at 90 degree angles. Front leg is with your knee pointed out and back leg is with your knee pointed in. All right. Now from here, if you can, you're going to hold your hands up by your chest and we're going to come up and over, keeping your feet where they're at and just slipping to the other side and then up and over the other way. All right. Now, if you need a little assistance, you can have your hands on the floor to help guide you side to side. We're just moving those hips in a little bit of a different way trying to get them ready for this workout, nice and warmed up. All right, let's get a couple more on each side. Awesome, don't worry about it if you're rolling all over your house or moving around, that's okay, that happens with these. All right, awesome, and then one more here, I wanna warm up our ankles, so we're gonna come into this half kneeling position, one foot in front of the other. Let's have our right foot forward. You're gonna take your right hand, place it on top of your foot, left hand holding your heel down, and we're gonna drive that knee forward over your toes. You'll see my knee is on the outside of my elbow. That helps me to keep it from collapsing in. All right, we wanna push out and forward. Awesome, trying to keep that heel pinned down. So we're really getting true ankle mobility here. Awesome, let's get one more and then we'll switch sides. Go ahead and bring it over. So the left foot is forward, left hand holding the top of your foot, right hand ho holding your heel. Drive that knee forward and all the way back. Awesome, if you're feeling this more in your back hip flexor, it probably means you're just too far back with that back knee. Just bring it in a little bit closer. Allow it to be focused on this ankle of that front foot. Let's get one more on this side and Good. All right. I'm going to say we're warm. I'm going to say let's get to it. So for our first round, we're going to do three different uh, section, three different circuits of this workout. The first one is going to be a longer circuit. Second one is sort of a medium circuit. And the last one is really quick. All right. So the, for this first one, we have five moves. We're going to be doing 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. So it's a long work interval. That work interval is actually split up a little bit. So it's 30 seconds of moving work paired with 15 seconds of an isometric hold of a similar movement pattern, and then 15 seconds of rest. So it's kind of like 30, 15, 15. All right, but I'm just gonna set the timer for 45, 15, and I'll cue you on when to go from the movement to the ISO and then to the rest. Cool? So we're gonna start with a squat to press. So you're gonna have your two dumbbells at your shoulders here. You're gonna squat down, drive those knees out, push into the floor, and press up overhead. All right, when we get to that 30 second mark, and we're gonna hold, we're gonna bring those shoulders, the hands right back down to the shoulders, 
and we're going to squat and hold. We're going to hold this ISO position at the bottom of the squat for 15 seconds. Then we'll rest for 15. Then we're going to go into a hinge to row. So you're going to think about sending your hips back, hinge, row, hands down, and stand. We're going to do that for 30. Then we're going to hold a hinged row position for 15 and then rest. Then we're going to go into a lateral lunge to cross behind lunge paired with a cross behind pulse. All right, so this looks like this. You can do this body weight because it is very challenging with the weights, but I'll show you both options. You're going to step out to the side, lateral lunge, push off, cross behind. And we're going to go on that same side for 30 seconds, and then we'll do the pulses here. All right, absolutely can drop the weights if you need to for either part of that. We're going to do the right side for one round, the left side for the other, and then finally we're going to drop the weights all together. We're going to go down to the floor for tuck-ups and hollow holds. So for 30 seconds, you're going to be here, knees in and back out. And then for 15 seconds, you can hold either extended or tucked in in this hollow body position. I'll give you some different options there. Does this sound like so much fun? All right, I'm excited, a little nervous, but mostly excited. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the timer. We have five seconds to start, starting with that squat to press. Grab those weights, bring them to your shoulders. Two, one, let's go. Squat and overhead press, nice job. All right, you have two options here. You can either keep your palms neutral or you can turn your hands forward, whatever feels better for you. All right, we got 15 more seconds here, and then we're gonna hold that squat hold at the bottom for 15. All right, nice job, keep it going. Awesome work, team. Five more seconds here. Two, one, and hold. So we're in the bottom of the squat, pushing those knees out, shoulders, uh, sorry, hands are right at your shoulders. Whew, keep breathing, stay nice and active. I know this burns. Oh my goodness, we got three, two, one, and rest. All right, drop the weights, shake it out. We got 15 seconds. We're gonna go into our hinge to row, all right? We got four seconds, three, two, one, let's go. Send those hips back, row, hands down, stand up, all right? Hinge, row, down, stand. We're gonna keep going for 30 seconds here, and then we're gonna hold that row position Nice job, keep it going. 10 more seconds here. You should feel a good stretch in those hamstrings when you hinge, and then working those hamstrings and glutes to stand back up. We got two, one, and hold. We're gonna pull back and squeeze, all right? Really sit those hips back. Whew. Pull those shoulder blades together. We got this, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome, shake it out. All right, we're on to our right side, lateral lunge, cross behind lunge. All right, you can do this with or without the weights. Your choice. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Right side, step off to the side, lunge, push off, cross behind. Step off to the side, push, cross behind. Now in that cross behind lunge, I want your hips to still be pointing square forward. All right, we're not crossing behind and rotating. All right. Step off to the side, push, and cross behind. Nice job. 10 more seconds here, and then we're gonna do our cross behind pulse. All right, five seconds, come on, we got this. Two, one, get into that cross behind, and we're pulsing that back knee, hovering it just above the floor. Little bitty pulses, up and down. Keep those hips square forward. Ooh, come on, we got this. Three, two, one, stand it up, shake those legs out. We're gonna do the same thing to the left. All right, again, options to hold the weights or to do this one body weight. It's pretty challenging, just body weight as it is. All right, we got three, two, one, let's go. Lunge to the left, push, and cross behind. Nice job. As you're doing that lateral lunge, think about setting your hips back and allowing your torso to come forward. Oh, nice job, 15 more seconds here, and we'll get those pulses. All right, a bit of a leg burner, no big deal. We got this, we can do it. Five more seconds here, maybe one more rep, and let's pulse, come on. Woo. Oh yeah, way harder with the weights. Oh my goodness, 
I'll be switching to body weight next time. <sighs> Five more seconds, come on. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, my legs. It's only one round too. <laughs> All right, come on, we're down on the floor. We have our fifth exercise, our last one, tuck up to hollow hold. All right, so we're going in three, two, one, let's go. We're tucking in those knees and going out, keeping the shoulders just hovering above the ground. So we're never going fully flat here. We're staying hollow the whole time. Nice job, keep it going. We got 15 more seconds here. Slow and controlled on this one. All right, Whew, we're almost there. Three, two, one. Now, this would be a challenging variation with those legs out straight, or we can tuck those knees in. Either way, we're trying to hold, keep those shoulders off the ground. I know it burns, but you can do this. We got three, two, one, and rest. Oh man, okay, that's one down. We have two to go, all right? It's only three rounds, so it's long, but it's manageable. We're gonna grab those dumbbells. We're going for squats in three, two, one. Let's go, squat and press. Oh man, I can't tell if my legs are sore from my workout yesterday or from round one of this. Probably a bit of a combination of both, all right? but we're gonna get through this together. I'm imagining you on the other side of the screen, probably kicking my butt. Whew. You're getting me through it. All right, five more seconds, come on. Two, one, come on, let's hold. Whew. I want you to think about keeping your chest up. It's easy to wanna to collapse down. Whew. Come on, drive those knees out, stay active. We got three, two, one, rest. Okay, shake those legs out. <sighs> Take some deep breaths. We're gonna hinge and row, all right? We got three, two, one, let's go. Send those hips back, row up, pinch, lower, and stand. All right, really try to keep those weights in close to you as you travel up and down. We don't want them to go way out in front of you. Trace your legs down and keep them in close the whole time. Awesome. 10 more seconds here. Nice job, everyone. Drive into the floor. Squeeze those glutes at the top. We got three, two, one, and we're holding. Row and squeeze. Pinch those shoulder blades back. Come on, feel that upper back. Working hard, five more seconds, we can do this. Breathe, two, one, and rest. All right, Whew. we're giving our arms a break. We're moving on to the lateral lunge, cross behind lunge. Like I said last time, I'm going body weight. You are free to add those weights if you want to. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Lateral, push, cross behind. That is all I got today, all right? If you're with me here, awesome, we're still working really hard. If you're using weights, kudos. Whew. Nice job, 10 more seconds. Trying to get full range of motion here, really get down low. We got three, two, one, let's pulse. A little cross behind, here we go. Come on, 15 seconds, it's quick. We can do it. Little pulses. Four, three, two, one. Oh, I cheated a little. <laughs> okay, shake them out. Let's bring it to the other side. It's quads. Oh man, they're on fire. We got this. Five seconds, other side. Three, two, one, let's go. I already forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Step, push, and cross behind. I don't know if you feel the same way, but my, as soon as my heart rate gets going and the oxygen starts flowing to my muscles, it just comes out of my brain. So if I start talking nonsense, it's just because my muscles are taking over all of my oxygen. We got five more seconds here. Two, one, and pulse. Come on, nice and low. Stay down there, hover that knee just above the floor. 
It burns, but it's going to be over quick. We're giving those legs a break in five seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh, my goodness. All right. Down to the floor, onto your backs. Oh. I'm going to face this way so I can actually see my timer. Here we go. In five seconds, starting with those tuck-ups. We got three, two, one. Let's go. Pull those knees in and back out. We're coming up onto our sits bones and then lowering out so that your lower back comes down to the floor. All right. If these feel like too much, let that upper back come down on the ground. Knees bent. And you're going to just do marching instead, keeping those ribs down. Marching your feet. If that's too easy, you can do something a little bit in between, going all the way out. All right, we got five more seconds of the tuck ups. And we're gonna hold in two, one, and hold. So it can be in this hollow, long lever hollow, or a shorter lever, which would be a little bit modified, but they're both hard. Trying to keep those shoulders from falling back onto the ground. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness, grab some water. We got one more round, we got this. Come on team, we're going squat to press. We've got four, three, two, one. Let's go, bring those bells up to your shoulders. Squat and press, come on. This is our last round. The rest of this workout is not so heavy on the legs, I promise. I mean, there's still some legs, I'm not gonna lie. But. This is definitely the toughest round on those legs, all right? So keep on going. We got 10 more seconds here, and then we're gonna hold the bottom of that squat. When we do, we're staying nice and active. We got three, two, one. Come on, bring it down. Drive those knees out. Oh my gosh, keep breathing. We got this, 10 more seconds. Try not to sink down, try not to collapse. Stay, stay strong. We got three, two, one. Rest, oh man, okie dokie, <laughs> we can do this. We got a hinge to row next. Whew, take some good breaths. I'm gonna grab those bells in three, two, one, let's go. Hinge those hips back, row those arms, and stand up, awesome job. <sighs> Keeping that back nice and flat as we go through this. We're never rounding add our spine to, ho to hinge over. We're always sitting back through our hips. <sighs> 10 more seconds here. <sighs> we got this team, come on. <sighs> and let's hold, row and squeeze. Pinch those shoulders back. Keep those dumbbells up high. 10 more seconds, come on, we got this. Stay hinged. <sighs> Four, three, two, one, let them rest. All right, I'm tossing my dumbbells aside. I'm getting just enough without them for these next two. All right, we're going right side in three, two, one, let's go. Step it out to the side, push, cross behind. Oh, I'm a little jello, little jello legs today. All right, we're in this together though. We can do this. You are feeling strong. All of this is temporary. We're gonna get to the next round. We're gonna forget all about these lunges that we were doing. All right, we can do this. Five more seconds. Keep pushing, two, one, and pulse. Come on, this is the biggest challenge. I think it's the hardest thing of the day right here. Get through it, we can do it. Little pulses, four, three, two, one, shake them out. Awesome. I had to split this up into two separate rounds. That was so mean. Whew. Okay, one more, we can do it. Three, two, one, off to the left, come on. A little arm action, if you're not using the weights, is great, just let the hands do what they wanna do. For me, it feels good to bring them in front, swing, back in front. All right, if you're holding the weights down, just down by your sides, one over the other. As you lunge, one's inside the leg and one is outside. All right, we're almost there. Five more seconds here. One more little pulse. Let's do it in two, one, come on. Okay, we can do this team. We're there. 
10 more seconds, you got it. Stay strong, don't stand up until it's over. Five more seconds, come on, three, two, one. Ah, so good, all right, down on your backs. Since when do hollow holds feel like a reprieve, but they certainly do on this one. All right, we got five seconds. We need a nice little break after this. Two, one, let's go. Pull those knees in, lower them out. Nice and easy, easy breathe through this one. All right, really wanna make sure that we're not carrying tension in our neck. If you're feeling that, take a second to release it. Should be working your abs here. Oh, come on. We got this. Two, one, and hold. Hollow body position. Knees tucked for short lever. Legs out for long lever for an additional challenge. Come on. Five more seconds. We got this. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh my gosh, well-deserved high fives. That was kind of brutal. <laughs> but that part's behind us and everything from moving on moving on from here is gonna be shorter. So we are so close to the end already. We're about halfway through this whole workout. All right. So I want everybody to take a minute, grab some water, grab a towel if you need it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and reset my timer to our next timer inter or next round intervals. And I'm gonna explain what we're gonna be seeing next. All right. So we're gonna start with a glute bridge with a single arm floor press. So we're going to do round one. Sorry, I should explain the whole circuit. Let me start over. So we're gonna start with a circuit of four exercises. We're gonna do 25 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. So this one is gonna be much faster paced than our previous 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, all right? So four exercises, three rounds to, through, 25 on, 15 off. We're gonna start with a glute bridge, single arm floor press, and we're gonna do one side, our left side for round one, and then our right side for round two. So you're gonna be on your back, you're gonna roll to the side that you're gonna be using to grab your weight and get it into position. We want our shoulder to be pinned down and back, and then we're gonna bridge our hips up. And this is gonna be our start position. Now from here, we're keeping our hips high, we're gonna press and lower back down. All right, we're gonna do that left side for 25 seconds, then we'll switch, or then we'll rest for 15 seconds, and then we'll switch over to the other side. All right, from there, we're gonna go into a straight leg sit-up. So we're still on the ground. We're just doing a new exercise. You're gonna have your legs straight with your arms up to the ceiling, and you're gonna sit up, bring those arms up overhead, lower back down, and repeat. All right. That's exercise number three. And then our last one, I regret to say it, but we're gonna do some lunges. Why did I do that? That sounds so mean right now because my legs are definitely tired. I know yours are too, but that's okay. We're gonna get through it. It's only 25 seconds. You're gonna grab both dumbbells and we're gonna do an alternating reverse lunge. So you're gonna step back, tap your knee, step together and switch. All right, you can always do those body weight as well. Cool? Sounds good. Let's do it. Only four exercises, only three times through, only 25-15. We got this. All right, we're gonna start with our glute bridge floor press. Get on the floor, grab your weight. We're going in three, two, one, and go. Bridge those hips up high and press. Awesome. We're keeping the hips high the whole time, keeping our elbow at 45 degrees. We don't wanna be out to the side here. We wanna be a little bit more tucked in. We can have our wrist turn in slightly as we come down and then press and turn forward. Awesome job. We got five more seconds here and rest, very nice. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna go over to our right side. We got 15 seconds to rest. Now this feels like it's just easy peasy, right? From 45 seconds to 25 seconds, no problem. All right, we got three seconds for the right side. Two, one, let's go. Bridge those hips, press, lower down. Nice job. Now our legs are still definitely working because we're using those glutes to keep our hips high. If you notice yourself kind of relaxing through your legs, drive those heels into the floor. Nice job, team. We got five more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right, you don't have to go far. Now we're gonna go into our straight leg sit-up. All right, so your legs are gonna be out straight. You're gonna be holding that weight straight up toward the ceiling the entire time. We're going in three, two, one, and go. So this, the weight's up to the ceiling, and then 
the weights up to the ceiling, all right? You can use it as a little bit of a counterbalance on the way back down to control that movement. But for the most part, we're pointing it straight up, really using our abs and working our shoulders at the same time. We got five more seconds here. Two, one, and rest. All right, 15 seconds of rest, and we're going into those lunges. Torture, total torture. All right, grab your other dumbbell. We're holding them by our sides, and we're alternating. We got three, two, one, let's go. Lunge back with the left, step together, back with the right, step together. All right, it's nice and quick though, we can do this. I want you to think about hitting 90 degree angles. All right, so we're not stepping too far. We're not making it too short. Just the right amount of spacing to get those 90 degree angles in. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right, that's already one round down. We've got two rounds to go. We're going back down to our backs, back to that single leg, sorry, single arm floor press from a glute bridge. We're going on the right side into one and go. Hips up high and press. If you're having trouble with the coordination of the hips up and the press, just bring your hips down and do it from this hook lying position. Or if your legs are just toast, that's fine, all right? We're mainly focusing on the press here. The bridge is just to add a little extra credit to what you're already working on. All right, we got three, two, one, and rest. Awesome, we're gonna bring it over to the other side. Left arm press. Ah, take the second to breathe and recover. And we're going in three, two, one, and go. Pin that shoulder down and back before you go. Keep it in position that whole time. Really wanna make sure that we're not letting the shoulder round forward or roll forward, Keep them, keeping it pulled down and back. It's gonna set you up for a really strong press. It's gonna feel a lot better on that shoulder. All right, I'm noticing my hips sinking. That's the tendency we all have. We got two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right, we're going into our straight leg sit-ups. So we're on our back. Now, if the weight that you have is too heavy for this, you can always do it without a weight. Just a straight leg sit-up there. All right, let's go in three, two, one, and go. You're holding the outsides of your dumbbell. Nice and slow and controlled. Anytime we go into a core move, it's rare that we're gonna be aiming for speed. We're usually aiming for control and aiming to be able to breathe throughout it. All right, if you're holding your breath, you're probably carrying too much tension in your neck, in your upper back, and not allowing yourself to move as naturally. All right, and rest. I was talking too much. I almost made us go over. All right, let's stand up for those reverse lunges. Ooh, come on team, we can do this. Remember, if you don't wanna use the weights, you don't have to. We got three, two, one, let's go. Lunge back, tap that knee, step together, switch sides. Nice job. All right, this is nice and quick. We can do this. It's not 45 seconds, it's a breeze. All right, we're already more than halfway. We got 10 seconds left, and we get a little rest. Keep it working all the way through. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, team, we're almost there. We got one more set of this circuit, and then just a little finisher to go. Remember I said it was long, medium, and then short. That finisher is gonna fly by, all right? We got two, one. let's go. Bridge those hips and press. Nice job. Keep digging those heels down into the ground. Don't let those hips start to sink. Keep that shoulder pulled back. So much to think about. Nice total body move here. We got five seconds left. And take a rest. Awesome. We're gonna switch it over to the other side. Ah, some nice deep breaths here. Whew, we got it. Five seconds to get going. Go ahead and set yourself up on the other side. Two, one, and go. Bridge high and press. All right, nice job, nice job. Keep being active through that lower body. Drive those heels, dig them hard into the floor. Feel your chest working as you do that press. Keep the shoulder pinned, 
Come on team, we're almost there. Three, two, one, take a rest. All right, we don't have to go far. We're going right into that straight leg sit up. And then one more set of lunges before we move on to our finisher. All right, five seconds to get started. Get yourself set. Three, two, one, let's go. All the way up, tall at the top, controlled on the way down. Nice job. We like the straight leg version because when your knees are bent, you recruit a lot of hip, hip flexor. With these legs straight, you can't recruit as much. So you have to use your abs a little bit more in this version, which we love. All right, take a rest. I love just talking and going over on that one. Sorry about that. Take a rest, stand up, grab both weights if you got it in you, or we go in body weight. That's cool too. We got three, two, one, let's lunge. I'll show you from the side again. Get that good 90 degree angle with the legs, alternating sides. Oh my goodness, we are so close. We're doing great. Those legs are a little shaky, at least mine are. We got 10 seconds. That's okay, because we can get through this. We're in it together. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Put those weights down safely. High five your screen, high five your camera. Oh man. You're doing awesome, all right? Go ahead and take a break, grab some water. I'm gonna reset my timer for our finisher. All right, and I'm gonna grab a sip of water myself. Okay, now our finisher, we can go ahead and get our weights completely out of the way. We don't need them. This is gonna be straight conditioning at the end, all right? So we're gonna be doing 20 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do two different exercises and we're gonna just alternate between the two, all right? So the first one is gonna be mountain climbers. We're gonna be in a push-up position. Nice strong position here and now you have two choices. You're going to either walk those knees in and out or if you're feeling really spicy, we're gonna run those knees in and out, all right? Show you from here, from the side view, same thing. You're gonna either march those knees in and out or you're gonna run those knees in and out to make it a little faster. All right, and then because I'm apparently a masochist, we're gonna, do, we're gonna pair that with squats or squat jumps. So our legs are not done working yet, but we can make it, all right? It's just gonna be 20 seconds of work. So if you're doing the squats, it's a speed squat, driving those knees out, down and up, thinking about speed, trying to get them going as quickly as possible. If you're gonna be doing the squat jump, we're gonna squat down, push the floor away, and jump, all right? We can always do a combination. You can do squat jumps for as long as your legs will allow and then transition into a speed squat for the remainder. Sound good? Okay, we can do it. Maybe grab one more sip of water before we get into it. All right, so like I said, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, move so fast, eight rounds, so it'll be four of each and that's it for the day. We'll get a cool down and we'll be on our way, okay? So we're gonna start with those mountain climbers. We're gonna bring it down to the floor, push up position. We're going in five seconds. We got three, two, one, let's go. All right, this is the finisher, remember? We are almost there, so we can push. It's only four minutes long, it flies by. 10 more seconds here, nice and strong. Drive the floor away, drive those knees into your chest. Three, two, one, stand it up. All right, 10 seconds to breathe. It's quick, we're going into squats. Squat jumps if you've got it. We got three, two, one, let's go. Okay, there are those quads. Woo. Come on, we got this. 10 more seconds. If you smile, it hurts less. That's true, it's just true. I say it all the time, but it works every time. And rest, all right. One round down, three more of those to go. We're almost there. Down to the floor. Mountain climbers in three, two, one, let's go. Come on team. Oh yeah, strong push up position. I want you to spread your fingers, grip the floor, push into the floor. Try not to allow yourself to sink down into your shoulders. Come on, five more seconds, we got it. Three, two, one, stand it up. All right, squats. We're either jumping or speed squatting. In three, two, 
One, let's go. I think my strategy is gonna be to alternate. We'll see if I can keep that up. Go speed squats this round, back to jumps next round. 10 more seconds, come on. Five to go. Three, two, one. Two rounds down, halfway done. Come on, we're almost there. Down to the floor, push up position. Oh, big breath. Three, two, one. Let's hit it. Quick feet. Make sure you're not plopping, jumping and plopping the foot. Try to stand a strong, tall plank, driving those knees in. Hovering that foot just above the floor or lightly tapping the toes. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm regretting saying I was gonna squat jump this time, but I committed it to you, so I'm gonna try. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's do it. Okay, we are testing the theory. I'm gonna smile the whole time, and it's gonna burn less. It's gonna feel fine. 10 more seconds. You better be smiling along with me. I promise it helps. Oh man, three, two, one. We did it. Down on the floor. One more round. We can do this. Ah, big breath. Let's go. Three, two, one. Come on. Remember, you can always slow this one down too if you need to, but we're in our final round. I think you can push. It's just a cool down after this. We got this. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Stand it up. Okay, come on. Finish strong here. We can do it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Either you're speed squatting or you're jumping. Whatever works for you. Whatever feels like a good wrap up to this workout. I'm gonna end on a few jumps. End on a high. Literally and figuratively. In two, one, done. High fives. Oh man, I'm so proud of you. We did awesome. We're gonna cool it down, all right? So come on down to the floor. First, I just want you to take some deep breaths and give yourself a little pat on the back for a job well done. That was a hard class. I don't know if it's just that I haven't taught one in a while and I'm out of practice, or if I just wrote a particularly mean class. You can comment underneath it and, uh, and let me know. All right, so let's go ahead and cool down. I want you to actually start in a child's pose position. You're gonna sit your hips back to your heels, reach your arms forward, and just keep taking some nice deep breaths here. Full inhale, full exhale. Awesome, you're starting to feel that heart rate coming back down a bit. I want you to reach your hands over to the left and we're gonna be getting a nice little stretch through that lat. All right. Awesome, then we're gonna reach over to the other side. So reach to the right, feel that stretch down the left side. I feel that heart rate coming back down, feels good. All right, next one I wanna do a little hamstring, or sorry, a little uh, hip flexor and quad stretch. So we're gonna come from a push-up position, bring your right foot to the outside of your left hand and drop that back knee down. I want you to just think about driving that back hip toward the floor. We're just gonna hang here for a second, also drive that front knee out. And we're just hanging out. Now we're either gonna continue hanging out here or you can bend that back leg. I'll show you from the side. Bend that back leg, grab it with your hand and add a little quad stretch to it as well. All right, for my bendy friends, this one might work. If we're not feeling so bendy today, that's okay. We're just gonna stay in this position instead. Hold for another few seconds. Awesome, and let's go to the other side. So step that left foot forward, drop the right knee down, First, just drive that hip down toward the floor, open up your chest, push that front knee out, and just feel that good stretch there. 
And now for those of you who want to, you can bend that leg, grab it with your other hand, and feel that extra, woo, <laughs> extra hip flexor and quad stretch there. Awesome, all right. And then let's finish it off with a little hamstring and calf stretch. We're gonna send our hips up to the ceiling, head through your arms, we're gonna pedal our feet. So you're gonna heel, pedal, one at a time, bending one leg and straightening the other. So you feel a good stretch through your calf, through your hamstring. You'll feel your upper back as well in this downward dog position. All right. Awesome work, everybody. So happy to have you joining me today. It was fun to be back with you, and I hope to see you soon.